we're going to start with the basic positions and help those with acute low back pain. So if your back is acutely irritated, go slow and use the traffic signal light to guide you. Green feels good, keep doing it. Yellow, not sure, be careful. Red hurts, don't do it, not for you. Try something different, see a PT. Hey, it's John at High Country Physical Therapy in Laramie, Wyoming. 60 to 80% of um, Americans and uh, people throughout the world will develop a low back pain at some point in time. A low back pain is multifactorial to where it requires a balance of control, flexibility, and strength. With a low back injury, uh, the, one of the most important ones of those, if we were to categorize that, um, is coordination. Like the Healthy Shoulder Series, we emphasize breathing significantly. And in the healthy back, we will do the same. We're going to start with the basic breathing positions and try to help those with acute low back pain. So the first place to start is to land on your back with your knees bent and just working on staying here to relax your back muscles and try to work on deep breathing cycles. We want to try to inhale through our entirety and exhale through our entirety to make sure that the rib cage is moving, our diaphragm is functioning, and our pelvic floor muscles are working. The important part of this process with breathing is to be able to increase your intra-abdominal pressure to be able to support your spine to change postures and move through different positions in life. Now, if we can't even create that contraction, then just lay here in this position and let your back relax a little bit longer. A very common fix for low back pain tends to be their prone press up. Our ability to maintain a good spinal extension is important for the function of a human back. First, start by cramping your glutes. Keep your low back stable by keeping them active. Press up into a position that feels comfortable for you. Hold, and then lower yourself back down. And of course, work your breathing patterns. Inhale as you come up, exhale, calm back down. As we start to move through the hook line position, a bridge is a very basic exercise that we can utilize to help increase our glutes and the stability that they provide around our pelvis. As we pinch something between our knees, we'll increase the tone from our abdomen by utilizing this myofascial chain from the front side of our body. We'll be able to increase our pressure, move through space, and practice patterning movements of our hips without changing the position of our spine, which is important as your low back starts to improve its health. If there is pain with your lower back with this, you're either moving your lower back and recruiting too much, or not quite ready for motion because your low back is still in a bad state. Once we're able to create control in this hook line position, let's try getting on your hands and knees. Working on your hands and knees is a transitional posture and a functional position when we're babies. And it is ingrained in us to be able to coordinate in this position. As we hold this posture, we're going to breathe in through your entirety and exhale through your entirety. And again, paying attention to how our diaphragm is functioning and how our pelvic floor is increasing tone when we breathe all the way out. The goal for this breathing is not to increase pressure into your neck, not to strain your neck or increase movement of any other body part, rather just paying attention to the fluctuation of the breathing positions. Again, this should not be increasing pain into your lower back, maintaining this posture for a few minutes to build some endurance back up and being able to transition this into more functional positions. Some progression in a quadruped position is just doing our simple bird dog exercise. We can transition this very easily into very other movements, but taking um, a progression by moving one limb at a time versus two limbs at a time is a good place to start when your low back is in acute distress. Practicing maintaining good pressure, stability through our pelvis, and not compensating motion from our pelvis or our torso is the goal for this exercise. If you are shifting side to side or changing the shape of your pelvis, then you're not stabilizing your lower back and you're only gonna add dysfunction into the process. Again, if your low back starts to become irritable, take a break, a rest, or maybe we're not quite ready to increase the movement. Thanks for watching Healthy Back 1. Check out the next video, Healthy Back 2, for advancements.